You know, so like if I were to put my hands like this, is another way to back a horse up. I'm trying to teach him a, a box. Them. If, we're, if we're doing something pretty athletic, like working cows or jumping, something that requires a lot of movement, you know, uh, you might ride a horse on a little bit more connected rein. You could, I don't want to say a short rein, but more contact. You know what I mean by that, right? But then there's times where we need to ride our horses on a longer rein. Well, that's what you're working on now. When you're, when you're leading them from a distance, you're teaching your horse how to operate on a longer rein. So that's the correlate. And then if I'm closer to a horse leading them, and we'll, we'll do some of that, uh, or even backing, and I'm close to their head, I'm teaching my horse how to handle closer proximity. It's a little more confining feeling, but that's what happens when we ride them. They're more confined. So I teach my horse how to operate with a close feel, and I, will, I also then do the opposite. I want to teach my horse how to operate at a distance. And that's setting him up for riding. All right. So let's see if we could get this guy weighting himself a little better. Uh, he loses when he halts. He thinks that's his chance, his opportunity to, like, take his nose past the shoulder. You know, with his nose between his shoulders, he can almost see 360 degrees around him. I mean, almost with his nose between the shoulder, like that's a little too far. So we, we all want to <clears throat> be mindful that when we halt, halt straight. See, he wants to look to the side. And that's pretty common. But he, want, he thinks, oh, I can look to the side. And I'll tell you, when you're walking him, he's focused. He's straight. But when you halt, he looks away. I want to fix that. Because that has a lot to do with our backup. So I want to halt straight. There, now I'm going to step in there. And he goes, I don't, there. That's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really ba back off. He, now, he still wanted to look to the side, but this would be acceptable. Nose, the muzzles between the width of his shoulder. That's a little too far. So I might just pick up and get in there again. And I'm going to, and like right now, I didn't just get firm. I did a lot. I, I'm stepping to him. I'm expanding my bubble. I'm working the rope. I'm moving my feet. I'm doing all these active indicators, aiding, that's saying to him, get back. It's not like I'm just getting in there, right? So now with that horse, do the same thing. Step in there, and if, if you need to, get firm, and then back off. Now this horse uh, made a big change there. And I have to be careful with him that we don't over do it. Ready? That's better. And then sometimes I won't even ask for the backup because he stopped so dang good. So ready? I'm walking, halting. Less of a creep. It's a start. Halting, lifting. Now I'm stepping in. I'm going to get a little firm. It didn't come out of the blue. I gave him some time. There we go. Same thing, don't just look to the side, stay straight. Okay, leave him alone, walk away. I'm still checking in. Halt, lift, better. Now I'm only like a little, I'll let you, but you can do it with him. You can get a little firmer, but you also need to keep his nose straight between the shoulder at the halt. Okay, so when he creeps in on me, Yeah. Back. Well, yeah, and you're starting from a, see if you think about it this way, you're starting from a, you're starting from a halt. You know, and you could even start from a halt. You could even back them. So you're starting from a place of space first. Don't walk so far forward he forgets what he's doing. Walk him forward just a little bit and then halt again. Puzzle pieces. We're just doing puzzle pieces. It's not going to be a whole picture yet. It's going to be three little pieces, but soon he needs to stay focused on you at the halt. Uh, you could think of it this way too. Some horses, they like to look off to the left. It's like they have all this attention to the left, and it's like their life, their energy is not balanced from right to left. So everything you do is crooked. Yeah. You know, they're always looking left. Their attention's left. So then when you go to, like, say, get back up, they go left. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's a question of, you could say they've got to look at you equally with two eyes. Some people say it that way. But it's also they need to be balanced on both, on both sides of you. 
You know, so like if I were to put my hands like this, this is another way to back a horse up. I'm trying to teach him a, a box. And, and don't move your head beyond my arms. And then what I do is I make it a little hard for him to stay here. And when he gets straight, let your arms down, right? Yeah. Now, uh, he hits both sides of the box there, but all of a sudden he kind of finds it. But you notice his head goes up, right, up, left. It's not straight. But eventually, there, when his, when his, when his energy is even, 